Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I'm finishing up the league that I left unfinished yesterday because I didn't have time yesterday. So that's what I'm doing for now. And not sure if I'll play the mana. Whoops, I'm not sure if I'll play the mana trader series afterwards, or just another league. Um, so what do I want to do here? I want to show you my deck list because that's standard practice. Put everything here. Surgical, Smash, and Lurus. This is the list I'm playing. It's gonna finish up the league that I started yesterday. All right, so let's let's play our final match of that league. Remember that league? We get, we had two unfortunate matches to start. But things did pick up. Things did pick up. Hopefully we can go even. I'm inclined to play some mana traders afterwards. Just because it's modern and it's technically free, so... I think it would be... There's really no reason not to play it, I think. Oh, we're up against Manish! This will be a fun one. This will be a fun one. Yeah, I'm keeping this. If you don't know, Munich is a very good Titan player. <sighs> so, we're in trouble. We're definitely in trouble. Because he's very good at this. And Magic Online's already lagging in true Magic Online fashion. Hey, good morning. Okay, so my opponent's on. Okay, so I, I know what he's on based on this is on Reclaimer Amulet. a decent draw. Uh, not as decent as I'd like. It's time to start holding up Skullcrack, basically. A second amulet. Ooh, that's not good. That's really not good. So his next turn is gonna be hella explosive. Ideally, we draw lava spike here. Helix is not great. I gotta pass, sadly. I'm probably dead, not gonna lie. I'm probably dead. Double. Oh, God damn it, and he has mismatched versions of cards. That tilts me so much. Okay, so he might be on blanks here, which is very good for us. 
Let's just do the pew pew pew. Actually, double helix is quite nice. Ooh, and lightning bolt here is amazing. We basically win next turn unless my opponent pops off. There's a chance that we can even live with this helix. But I don't think there's a chance we can live with the helix and Skullcrack the life gain he will try to... What's this? Tapping white for a third amp. Oh my god. My opponent has anything. Anything at all. Yeah, that's a really good one. So much mana. So it's a titan. And can we... Okay, I'm gonna test my opponent. Because he has Slayer Stronghold in the battlefield. Hmm? Ooh, interesting. No, because he can bounce this. Um, that might have been wrong. I mean, I don't think so. We're gonna pack for another Titan. Yeah. I'm thinking if I'm actually dead. Because him having Slayer Stronghold on the battlefield means I don't think he can... I don't think he can haste them both. That's the thing. You can dry it now or another Titan. Oh, he has Vesuva. Am I just dead? That's. Yeah, I'm just dead. Now I'm just dead. You can untap this thrice and kill me. So, yeah, triple amulet, it's, it's pretty hard to beat. Um, I think we bring in the full path. Uh, Lava Mancer looks very bad. And honestly, Helix is quite poor. Helix is quite poor. I think, I think I like this. Two part smash. No, I don't think it's worth it. If I was on green, I would board in Destructive Revelry because it also hits the. Um, the thing, the, the, the Dryad, but I think that on Smash only hitting Amulet isn't what you want, because you basically have to run, and post sides, they have cards that aren't on the Amulet plan, so I don't think it's worth it. I, I understand that it when it works it's amazing, I'm not denying that, but I feel like against a deck that loses to inconsistency, we want to be the most consistent possible. Ooh, four lands, but an Eidolon? 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep just because this Eidolon is gonna punish him a lot. I hope. I hope this Eidolon punishes him a lot. I'm gonna fetch for a shock in case I ever need to play Lurus. Flagstones into Amulet. It's never good. And two being Canopy is a bit better. Yeah, yeah, Canopies definitely help here. This hand isn't four lands, it's three lands and a cantrip, basically. Which isn't great, but it's not awful. And uh, they thought about making a Uro deck, but would have thought about making a Uro deck, but would have to make one, then have it get banned soon. Well, I don't think that Uro is gonna get banned. The card is very strong, but the card has one big problem. It costs green to cast. And green is not great. I don't think it is, because green right now, you're either doing something uh, ridiculous, ridiculously unfair, like amulet, um, or I don't know what other green decks are there. Or like, Gruul plays green for the ramp. Basically a mono, they're basically a big red deck that plays green for the ramp, and Bloodbraid Elf. I think that's it. And like, let's be real, Jun isn't really a deck right now, but their green was because of Tarmogoyf, and Ren basically grindy cards that lose to Uro, but can play Uro. I, I don't know. I think that green isn't a good fair color. It's a lot of mana. Ooh, that's a lot of mana. That's a Dryad if my opponent wants. Azusa. We can deal with Azusa. What we can't deal with is with Azusa into Titan into killing me. So I'm at 8. I'm at 16, and double amulet kills me here. And leave it to one of the best amulet players I know to turn to me. It's a lot of mana. If it's just a dryad, okay. Huh, this is very interesting. Um, because I know my opponent is telling me that he doesn't have Sun Home, basically. Uh, which I would have been dead if he had it. Because he double strikes this and he tramples through Eidolon. Uh, do I block here? I don't think I do, actually. Wait, can I do anything at all? I can't, right? Wait, no, if I draw a path, might be fine. And do I want to kill my island? I'll go down to six. I can only cast two spells. So yeah, let's kill our island now. Dealt a lot of damage.
Oh, uh, that's not an out, sadly. We need a pat. Wait. Can I still get it? No. Okay. Absolutely destroyed. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We 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 still have 100 play points. We can play another league. Do I want to play another league or play the Mana Traders? Because Munich was telling me that there's a lot of Ad Nauseam, some Neoform, and I really don't like those odds. And... Ah, thank you very much for the sub, Munich. That's very nice of you. After absolutely crushing me. After absolutely crushing me. It was, it was a good game. Like, game one, you were one turn off of dying. Because if I, if I were to untap, I I had lethal, and the skull crack meant that I would I would have really um, killed you. No, no. It's the least I could do. I usually join the stream for a running thing. Yeah, that happens. Um, I immediately queued. I saw you online and thought, well, I hope it doesn't happen, but. Got luck with my companion amulets, yeah. Companion amulets, OP. Uh, you were telling me that there's a lot of... There's a lot of... Uh, what's it called? Ad nauseum in the Mana Trader series, so... I'm not sure if I'll play it now. Attacks are top tier at the moment, overall strongest field. Yeah, I think I'll wait a bit on that. I'll play another league. Uh, same 75. Please me avoid me if you can. I really don't want to face that again. Um, but a lot of the biggest scores I've seen were claimer shells that not new for me. I don't, I don't, I don't really like that field. Uh, ad nauseum means I have to play wear and tear because I can't play green because prowess is always going to be present and neo form is. Very a very nail biting matchup. I'm sorry, uh, Girth Giver. What decks are top tier at the moment? Top tier. What decks are top tier? Let's look at the modern meta game. So, like off the top of my head, uh, Euro piles, and it doesn't matter which colors they are, are quite good. Although I think that. Euro is being kept in check by itself because it has a very steep casting cost. Then you have your prowess builds, be it red black, uh, blue red, mono red, sometimes boros, which are also tier one. And then I'm not sure what comes after, but I think that those two are the strongest decks in the format. Another fetch... I'm gonna... Fetch for a basic. My opponent moons me. I lose one spell, but it's fine. Because I have a decent hand to punish that. Yeah, I agree... I, I agree with Nish. Um Uru, I don't think that Uru is bannable. Again, the green cost... The single green is fine, but the double green for escaping is quite tough on the mana. It means you can't really play a two-color deck slightly splashing green. You need to play a proper three-color deck. And that's quite heavy. And I do think that Mystic Sanctuary is the target. Because, like, Mystic Sanctuary is just so busted, honestly. 
Because in blue shells, what you do is you have a bunch of singles. To, this is probably a, a bone crusher giant. And so I'm gonna play accordingly. I'm gonna swing in, and if he manages to snipe the swift spear, I'll bolt face. A lot of people like to snipe the swift spear. What did I reveal? Foothills? Ooh, that's a spicy meatball. Uh, so Urupao still beat blue-white control. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. I feel that blue-white control just isn't played. Because people are super high on... Uh, my opponent's going to play this next turn, right? She isn't, she isn't too troublesome. I'm not sure if it's really better than blue-white. I just think that blue-white is not represented right now because people are high on Uro. Which is understandable. So... Blue-white doesn't have enough people playing it to... At least for me to believe that it's not great. I think that blue-white has received a lot of good cards recently. Ooh, QB is pretty good. Do I trade double bolt for it? Or do I trade creature plus bolt for it? I can actually just trade Swift Spear with it, which is pretty nice. Ooh, and that's a great top deck. Just so this is a Ponza-ish deck. He needs to, to block this or else he just dies. Is he gonna get greedy and not block Swift Spear? He is blocking Swift Spear. Okay, so I, I, I'm definitely killing that questing beast. Sadly, I can't lethal my opponent. Four, six, seven, uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that nine? I do cut him off of patch land, so I basically cut him off of um, Ren and Six value. Ooh, I could have made my permanence indestructible. I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna try to put him at one. <laughs> Here. Blue White is much more played than Band Online due to the ceiling on rental server. Must can cover blue white. Almost not gonna cover rental. Oh that's 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 fair. If that's true, then maybe blue white just isn't there yet. Or isn't there for now. Which could be. Could be. I can definitely imagine blue white not being great. What does blue white struggle against? Does blue white struggle against prowess? As I've said multiple times, I don't like Eidolon in this matchup because it's too awkward against a good board state, so I'm just siding that one out. I just have to make notes of these sideboard changes because I would really like to... I really want to make a sideboard guide for subs because you're wasting Paths and one drops. Wait. My chat is a little small. Let me. Okay. White shouldn't struggle with Zokrut against Lurus. So you're wasting paths on one drops, and the X mana helps a bunch. Yeah, I can see that. Like you ramp them up a bunch with your early paths, and then they. They go. They just go off with Lurus and the crew. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, but Blue White's problem is definitely the the not the the lack of removal. Blue White cannot I imagine be Tractus Browse. Yeah, like 
discard into threats. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Ooh, a good hand here. A very nice hand. No path, but... Actually, no turn one removal means that if my, token, my opponent plays a token, uh, Arbor Elf, I'm kind of screwed. Crocs of pressure lures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes, it makes sense that Blue White can't beat that. Although, Blue White can just play Rest in Peace and take care of a lot of problems there. Skullcrack is good. Skullcrack is very good. Think that but then again, if Blue White plays Rest in Peace, they lose their Snapcaster value, which is one of their angles to win that matchup, so... I know, I kind of think that Blue White needs a, a, re a, a slight rebuild. Maybe Miracles is where it's at right now. Because, like, Miracles got a lot of tools, or like, Counterbalance Miracles, yeah, because... Omen of the Sea is really strong there. Oh, Clothis. Clothis. That's a pain. That's a pain. Huh. What do I want to do here? Okay, I suspend Riftbolt, I Lava Spike. This Lava Spike deals 1, 2 because of the Prowess trigger. Am I fine with my Lava Spike only dealing 2 instead of 4? I don't think I am. I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm fine with end stepping this Helix. Hopefully my opponent doesn't play anything too big. He is ramping with Clothis. Forcibly so, but he is ramping. Uh, okay, Glorybringer. My opponent exerts it. I'm honestly fine. Yeah, I'm kind of fine with that. Turn two classes on the draw is definitely rough for me to beat. But let's let's not despair. I really need a land here. If I draw a land, I might win. Rift Bolt. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, actually, that kind of does it too. If my opponent, uh, I can't. I don't think I can play around a, a Bayloth here. I don't think I can play around the Bayloth there. So I'm just conceding to Bailoth because the way my hand shaped out, if that were a land, I would have suspended Rift and held on to this skull crack. But as such, I have 15 damage here. Him cracking that means he has a maybe another Glorybringer. Thunder Maul Helk. Ooh, this is very bad for me. So that's nine damage. So this took a turn for the not awesome. It's not, it's th 13 next turn, so I'm definitely dead next turn. So I'd need a path.
There's an argument for using these to kill Thundermaw. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. That kill Thundermaw. Only taking 4 plus 2. Ooh, and Path is great here. And I can't pass Clothes because that doesn't work. I need to pass Thundermaw. If my opponent plays anything relevant, I just lose. Yeah. Yeah, I just lose there. I okay, played pretty well around the Clothes. Uh, I, I, I needed a, a second land, a third land, fa a little bit faster, or a path. Um, okay, I think we're in... we just run it back. I like to sideboard a lot against this matchup. Like, sure, Eidolon can be good, but it can also be very bad. My Eidolon is always going to be hitting me, but it's not always going to be hitting my opponent. So we're definitely on the play here. I can't keep this. I can keep this. But I mean the eyelet. Eh, how's it been going? Um we lost our fifth match of yesterday of yesterday's league against Munich. Not sure if it's still in the chat. And now it's game three of match one against Bonza. It's, it's going decently. We lost game two by a very little. By very little indeed. Let's keep this. Do I want to keep this? Yeah, I, I said I want to I keep. Okay. My opponent also moves to six. Okay, putting up advantage. I don't think it's it's wrong here. Magic Online is really laggy, which is weird. It's just my second match of the day. Imagine having to pass the Arbor Elf. Opponent is definitely skilled. Never having Arbor Elf against Burn. A second pass, that's actually very decent. Now I want a White Source. Watch me get blown up by Blood Moon now. So of course you keep Blood Moon against the mostly mono red deck. Ooh, Season Pyromancer is awful here. For me, of course. Clothis, okay. I can deal with Clothis. Please, Skullcrack. Uh, that's not that's not awful. 
Getting some board presents. Wait, I can't I can't skip because my opponent is playing hasty threats. Okay, now hopefully my opponent has to play bad cards like Okay, that's four mana. Please no Bailoth. Please no Bailoth. He's gonna play a Bailoth and I'm gonna cry. That's double green. Ooh, spicy. That's very spicy. A bone crusher? Anger of the Gods deals 3 to each creature, so I can't even save mine. Boo. Boo, opponent. Why don't you play creatures? I'm really screwed now. That's a garbage draw. I think this is it. Um, maybe I don't want the four paths. Maybe that's it. Because this is a matchup where I really don't want to find two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm gonna take it because I want to. I want to kill Clothis. I think I don't win this if I don't kill that Clothis. So I need to wait on these paths. That kind of works. That kind of works. I can double path, I can helix. Hey, you gotta feel it. Yeah, I did. Was was pretty nice. The last couple of followers came in. Gosh, I don't even know. Like Monday, maybe? <sighs> Please, opponent, play something pre-combat so I can path your two threats. Yeah. Exactly how you do it. Do any of these have attack triggers? No, right? Okay, funnily enough, I'm still dead next turn. Um, Garsh, I need something here. I need the third path. Uh, might as well, right? Sure, this one has more text, but that one damage is relevant here, or it might be relevant in a near future. I am ramming my opponent a lot, but Kiora plus Utopia Sprawl is already a lot of ramp. My one can still kill me, by the way. No, he can't. Come on, something good. That's not something good. <laughs> I 
Am I winning if I'm taking this 4 damage here? I'll hold off one more turn. I think I can afford that. Maybe I'm supposed to shock myself there, crack this. Or rather, crack it before. <laughs> It was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. It's already pretty late. Not sure if I'll be able to finish the league, but that was what well, that was an interesting match one, for sure. For sure. I'm not. I'm not mad about the Dragon's Claw though. It's quite good against. Um... Yeah, it was pretty wild, but pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Oh, God damn it! I got I have to mult five here. I think that's how I win this game. I draw land and play Eidolon. I have one on most of five, even four ones. Is that the one time I mulled to four with the intention of winning? I actually won. It was against blue red prowess. And I mulled to path plus core and double white. Then drew a second core. It's pretty insane. As I was saying, I, I'm not mad about the Dragon's Law. It's very good against Prowess. Ooh, am I killing that Swifty? I'm probably killing that Swifty. No, I need lands. I need lands deck, not this garbage. Uh. Uh, need to do it now, yeah. If he has a mutagenic growth, I want him to spend on his turn. It is it? That's not great. Okay, I need an inspiring vantage next turn. A shock land is serviceable. And Morphos into Stormwing, that's fine. A Shockland is serviceable. A Fetch isn't really great, but also does it. A Bolt is decent. Not a uh, but it needs to actually be a Lightning Bolt. One of those cheap copies. It's not great. That's not great at all. I need this, but I need a land to play it. This is this is the variance game, it's fine. By that I mean it's the game, not match, it's the game that I could never win. Four lander into four lander into one lander. You take those. If it's like one out of ten games, it's fine. For a long time, I thought that Stormwing procced off of any spell. And I was thinking, why aren't people playing uh, Mishra's Bobble? It's really good. Then I realized that it doesn't work like that. I want to block here. No, right? Screw that. That would have been Broco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I usually misinterpret cards a lot. Like when I first saw Shark Typhoon, I read it as pay one blue and X to cycle, but in my mind, the card said make an X, X shark and draw X. 
and that sound and that was perfectly reasonable for me. Bubble triggers prowess, but it doesn't trigger uh, the discount on Stormwing. That's the thing. And I thought it did. I thought that Stormwing was off of any spell. So oh, okay, I'm dead here. So I thought that I, I'm not dead, but out of lands basically. Okay, in comes the hate train. No, MTG, I want cards here because I'm a dumbo and I can't side if things aren't there. Okay, so Boros Charm comes out, Skull Crack comes out, Lava Spike comes out. We need to keep one of these. I think that Boros Charm is the winner. Actually, Lava Spike is the winner, because it doesn't tax my white sources for this. What other cards did I didn't read properly? I think that Sharknado was the most recent one. And then when I read it properly, I was like, wait, drawing one is so bad there. <laughs> of course the card is insane, because it gives blue pseudo-removal. Which was what Ice Fang Quaddle did. That's why Bant was so strong. Because Quaddle would just act as removal. So alongside Path, you had Quaddle, which also cantripped. And you had a pretty good removal suit. That's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Um, okay, am I going to even deal, deal with a core? I don't think so. Obviously open with Swift Spear. I'm gonna scare my opponent into playing removal on Sutur. I don't think. Do they have anything to deal with the core? <sighs> Aside from blocking it with Stormwing, which won't work for my opponent all that well. Soul Scar Mage. Well, I could be cheeky. Say, why am I playing the enemy? Who are you playing against? Or what are you playing against? Oh yeah, they play Kozlex Return. That's true. I always forget that one. You queued an Uro pile. Well, you're not thinking. You're not thinking uh, about that properly. You add like two Uros into your amulet deck and you're an Uro pile. So you're obviously the best deck in the format because you're an Uro pile, but you're still playing Titan. Isn't that how it works? So always yes, always yield. How the fuck would I put bad cards in my amulet deck? That's fair. <laughs> Definitely blocking here. This is actually great. I can fetch a basic. Could you imagine my core not attacking? Kill the Soul Scar Mage. 
Lady Eidolon. My opponent needs a lot of action. Mana Morphose in Amulet? That's bold. Why? That's zero. Well, is it a anti blood moon tech? I've talked with Manish about this actually. It's like a, I'm playing 56 cards in my Titan deck that wants to find Titan. Like, Mana Morphos is the least. Bad one. I want to path this. Probably not, right? The amount of money solo. Yeah, Blood Moon is really. I think that after Zendikar, the only deck running Blood Moon will be Ponza. You can quote me on that. There we go. Uh, just a minute, I need to answer a phone call. Threat, I'm back. Um, am I pathing Sprite Dragon here? Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. Would have been a lot of damage. Yeah, he has Mutagenic. I don't think he can kill me here. But I am getting kind of low. Ooh, and the second Swift Spear is actually pretty great. I can... Let's... Let's go to the mall. No 
Now my opponent kinda has to deal with a lot of things. And I kind of know that I'm setting myself to die to Kozilek's return. Okay, so my opponent's killing Lurus. Makes sense, Lurus is a bit too relevant here. I would have played Eidolon next turn, probably. I'm 100% blocking this. Can I win here? Path is not great. Do I want to crack a canopy? Path of Swift Spear, attack for a couple, or do I want to preserve my life total? I think that me being at 7 here is actually pretty darn relevant. Let's do that. Could put my opponent down to one. But I'm still winning off of a lightning bolt, so. I kinda don't care too much. This is a very close game. This is a very close game indeed. Dragon's Claw, that's great. N not really great draws, but got there. Now game 3 is actually a bit more problematic, because we're on the we're on the draw. <laughs> and being on the draw is not great. Not awful, but not great. Alright, game three. Oh, this sounds so beautiful. It has Lava Mancer, it has Core, it has Path, it has Eidolon, it has Removal, and it has Permanent Threats. It's missing one very important thing. Oh, this hand's not great. This hand is not great. Do I have to keep this? I think I have to mull this, actually. Like, I, I, I ship away the islet, obviously. Did not trophy burn, senpai. Oh, were you on your way to a trophy there? 
when you beat me? Um, for one, last two, <laughs> Tron. It's always Tron. In the end, it's always Tron. Do I want to multi five? Is my question. I have spells in two lands, which is decent. But my turn one being path is bad. This was my first round. Ah, I was my first round. I was your first round. Okay, makes sense. Um, okay, so foothills into path in their turn one threat is bad. And playing Eidolon. I'm gonna keep, but I'm not happy. I want that to be known. I'm not happy about this keep. Let it be known. So I want... Ooh, an opponent has a turn to Stormwing. We got him. We absolutely got him. Moving to 5 is worse. Yeah, moving to 5 would have been worse probably. Because like this is serviceable, and mulling to five might not have been. My opponent's gonna play Stormwing here. Either that or Dragon's Claw. Sprite Dragon? Ooh, do I wanna kill that? I do, right? My opponent wouldn't have kept a Sprite Dragon if he didn't have like mutagenic growth to save it. I'm doing this now because I want to play idle on next turn. Fetch the blue land. Yeah, that's. I think that's always a reasonable. A bolt is a nice draw. Yeah, I'm running idle on here. With the understanding that my opponent is probably going to be removing it. Has four mana, which is a lot. So, gusting my idol on. Of course, I'm gonna top it. The threat, a stormwing. Okay, let's kill that stormwing. Actually. I think it's not gonna go through. Did interesting. I'm setting up a kill for his next creature. This this is an interesting one. My opponent kept a bad hand in my opinion. Now that's that's a problem. So I kind of need my. Core is a bad draw here. I'm just sad that I'm two draws off of casting core. <sighs> but such is my twisted fate. Ooh, Helix is actually a decent draw. Playing Eidolon, taxing his spells. He might be out of gas. Like, this was obviously top decked. I think my opponent's opening hand was Stormwing and Sprite Dragon. Hard casting a light up the stage? Yeah, my opponent's... My opponent's running on... nothing. And Lava Dart isn't the sort of removal you want to see here. Another helix should be fine. Okay, my opponent's play is pretty straightforward. It casts Soul Scar and darts.
I heard the thunder, but oh, it was someone following. Thank you very much, George. One eight two one for the follow. This Lightning Elix, which is going to kill this Soulscar Mage, is going to be dedicated to you. And I'm going to do it now, because I'd rather tax him for another spell than save me two life from my own Eidolon. <laughs> Just let it all resolve. He gains, goes to 15. Eidolon shoots him to 13. He gains one up to 14. Not in a great place, but... I still have Lurus. My opponent's obviously on non-removal here. So come on, bring me the lands. What is this? Ah, Stormwing Entity. So I want to land here. I want to land for sure. Swift Sphere ain't it. No mutagenic growth would be nice. I think my opponent would have used it on the other dude. This is this is an intense game, not gonna lie. Manamorphos. The correct manamorphos, by the way. None of that. Reprint bull. Another storm. God damn it, opponent. Stop playing storm wings. What do you run for? Ooh, and Grim Lava Mancer is actually pretty good. And Link Rack Manifar is the one that doesn't draw bolts. No, no, no. This, the other art is garbage. Sorry. Ah, uh, what do I want to do here? Opponent obviously doesn't have mutagenic growth. Or opponent most likely doesn't have mutagenic growth. So, bolt, bolt is a decent play. I think I need to conserve my life total above everything else. Because I kinda I can mill him out. That's a thing. That's a thing that can happen. <sighs> That's awful. Can I get a land? Thank you! Freaking finally. I'm gonna bait out removal with this. Okay, and Grim Lava Monster is a really good draw because I'm still certain that my opponent is pretty much top decking things. Oh no, he has removal. Yeah, this is the downside of Grim Lava Monster. Lava Dart just destroys me. So I can't forget that my opponent has a Lava Dart in the graveyard. He's casting it now for a Stormwing Entity? No, a Soulscar Mage. Alright. So I have to be careful now. I don't want to be casting my Lurus into this Lava Dart. Well, my opponent's doing that for me. Oh, this could, this could be the fourth Stormwing. light up the stage. Okay, I think that we're entering the 
can't kill you, need to mill you plan. Which is actually... Ooh. Huh? This, this is great. And I won't cast my core firewalker this turn if I do draw it. Huh. Do I wanna do that now? Do I wanna kill this Soul Scar Mage? I don't think so. I do not think so. This Swifter is gonna die, sadly. Okay. Best play is putting an Eidolon on the field from my side. With Lurus, so I still need two extra lands. Not blocking. Prince Hellbent. Now is where the fun begins. By which I mean the not fun. I have to leave to eat some lunch after this one. <laughs> but I will stream the rest in the afternoon, I think. No lava darts in the graveyard. This is definitely going to the board. Let me always yes and always yield. And I can do it to my own prowess triggers too. Oh no, I, I can't do that. I don't want to yield to his Swift Spears, because it's relevant. Hmm, that's a, that's a decent draw. Can I race here? <laughs> Call me a madman, but... Okay, my opponent has one card in hand. Might be an opt. Think if it were removal, he would have cast it. So I'm playing Lurus this turn. Or do I want to wait? for another land. <sighs> if I play Lurus and it dies, I'm kinda screwed. But you would think... That, okay, he has two draws though. So he can find something. He has no lightning bolts. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'd rather cast something from the grave with Lurus. That's how I maybe win this one. I think we can win. Like, I don't think it's too far-fetched that we can win here. Like my opponent's strong threats are mostly gone in Stormwing Entity. With only one of my paths gone. 
I think it's realistic that we can win here. Okay, so I have one power casting light up the stage. Which is good. Let me see what he's playing next turn. Allows me to properly plan my next turn. Manamorphos, Swift Spear. Go on a path this. I have a Rift Bolt coming down. I'll gladly, I gladly, I'll gladly take these two. The way I win is by controlling my opponent's board. What do I want to draw here? Another core would be fine. That's decent, not gonna lie. Some, some more pressure. Yes, it gains him two, but it deals him two. And we do get the secret mode of milling my opponent out. And as they say, red mirrors are control mirrors. And do I kill this swift spear? I don't think I do actually. The manamorphos. I have three cards in hand, that's annoying. I'll kill it if it gets too big. I really, I, I would really prefer to save path to other threats. Like this one, yeah. Time on clock might actually be a resource in a burn game. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind. Having to... I had to leave for about one minute, which is what I'm pretty much behind. I think I'm passing now. My opponent scryed. I didn't... I don't even know what he scryed. Uh... Puts one on top. Let's see if my opponent remembers that he can't shuffle. For the love of God, auto yielded the. Am I not auto yielding to its triggers? I'm just holding priority because I had a path. Yeah, yeah. I I do need to get a little bit faster here. Oh no, I forgot that one of my cores isn't automated. Can I do it here? No. I'm so bad at magic online. 
doesn't seem like it. I don't think uh, it's just because since I'm holding priority, I need to manually resolve them. I don't think I can auto yield to them because maybe I can. Maybe I'm just bad. Time is not really a concern for me usually. I'm a little bit behind. I have a much better board state though. Okay, opponent's just passing. I may not want them to... that's the thing. Uh, I'm not playing anything post-combat, I think. At this point... Uh, yeah, I, uh, so to answer you, I can yield, but I don't want to. Because it can be relevant. Maybe not. It always resolves before my abilities, so... I like that my opponent took the time to kill my goblin guide, as if to say that little thing is drawing you, is drawing me cards. I'm actually gonna double down on it. Come on, opponent. Kill my goblin guide. He's killing my goblin guide. By the way, I'm not doing this because I'm an idiot. I want to I want him to cast stuff off his hand. Cause when I when I cast Luris, if it lives for like one or two turns, I'll just get a lot of value from it. Magic Online clock is so cl clunky, but understandably so. You bet I'm killing one of his swift spears. Oh, I need to order this. Sorry, sorry game. Sorry game. Sorry clock. I need to order your triggers when I cast spells. I'm not used to playing the clock. I think you can tell. Like, with having stops on every single step. It's like, I can afford it with my deck, so I do it, but it's most likely incorrect. Most likely incorrect. Hopefully I draw... Ooh, a white source next turn would be amazing. 
because I, I would then get to a point where I can Luris and Core on the same turn. My opponent does kill them. Smash the Smithereens would also be okay, a white source, that's pretty darn good. What's my opponent doing? Ooh, does he have Kozilex return? Something tells me he found Kozilex return. Do I crack? No. I need the four white sources. I need the four white sources. on clock and bolt is actually a decent one Could grab back Eidolon. Yeah, but if I do that, I'm basically conceding to a Kozilex return. My opponent has exiled one, but I think it's smart to play at least two. So I'm playing around that. If my opponent Kozilex returns me, I play Lurus, Core, and he needs removal and more removal instantly. For me not to play the second core, basically. He cracks that 100% of the time. Yeah, my opponent's digging, he's on 13 cards, 33. This is good. A little mistake for me, but... I don't care. I'm ahead on clock, so let's not let, let's not waste our advantage. I'm cracking this for a a a, 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 blue, a white source though. I have no more no more white sources. I'm a smart player. That my opponent just delaying the in the inevitable. It's understandable. I wonder if I should play the Swift Spears and just go to town on him. Is that lethal? 
like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Might be a lethal next turn. I might do that. That's not lethal anymore. Come on, folks, this is the pinnacle of modern. Red decks grind each other out. There it is. There it is. Okay, now I kind of screwed myself because I wasted my second white source. Okay, but doing this is good. A lot of pressure on my opponent to find anything, and he didn't. Okay, my opponent conceded. We got there. Uh, there it is, the smash. I would have played core and attacked with these two. Then once I find smash, I go smash, triple swift spear, double bolt, and just go to town. Okay. Okay, folks, we're one and one this league. Let me update the score, actually. And here's what I'm going to do. I need to have lunch now. So I'm going to stop the stream, but I'll be back in like one hour, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more. I'll, I'll post it again on social media and the Discord. So if you're still willing to watch some ga some burn gameplay I'll finish the league uh, thank you for tuning in for this one parter I really liked streaming in the morning it felt a little bit like streaming in the afternoon means I I'm streaming at the same time as some big names meaning that maybe some people aren't here so I think I'll start streaming more in the morning but I'm open to feedback if you're a regular uh, please do tell me if you like that or you don't. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you in a while.